That's a fish. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. That's a very good fish. There we go. That's a fish. It's a small one, but it's a fish. And we're only in 10 feet of water. channel. We'll probably just, oh, 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 we got a double. Look at that. We got a double. Let me, this may be a pretty good one. I don't know. Let me get this one in. Wow, we must have hit like a pocket or something. considering we are only in 10 feet of water. It's a nice double. I don't think this one's big. I think he's just angry. And all I'm doing, guys, is drifting along these docks here. Sometimes the docks can be good areas to catch fish, like bass, crappie. Catfish love it too. Maybe this is a channel, I don't know. I don't think it's a big fish. I think it's just mad. Maybe it's a little bigger than I think. But he's staying down. Wouldn't that be something if it were a flathead? channel. Just a very feisty channel. It's actually a good size channel. That's not a small one. It's pretty big for this area. Got him. Look at that. That's a good size channel. Good hook set. That's a good eater right there. I mean, we're not going to take any home tonight. But that's a solid, I don't know, five pound channel, maybe a little bigger. There goes that one. And then, I go ahead and get this guy. Probably a pound, pound and a half. Back to the depths. We were only in nine to 10 feet of water, but there's structure here, which is what you want when you're fishing for catfish. And as I've said already, 
docks are good spots to fish not just for bass and crappie and panfish but also catfish so i'm just drifting along this riprap that helps me out anytime you have rocks that are coming down into the water that's a good sign that fish will be congregated there at certain times it's always worth a try to fish along rocks and as we have these little slips here in these docks always worth a try Right now, the current is at 45,000 cubic feet per second, which is about two and a half mile per hour. And that's good for catfishing. Good current allows the catfish to get more active, especially the blues. So what I'm gonna do is just cast this again. Let's go ahead and get our bait situated. And guys, I can't stress enough, but drifting is a very good technique to cover a lot of water, catch catfish. While depth is important, so is structure. And fishing close to the bank, you can never go wrong with. Obviously, you got to be mindful of bank fishermen, but right now we don't have any bank fishermen to worry about, so we're fine. But I catch most of my fish fishing close to the bank. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a fish. Gosh, she slammed that. Pretty sure it's another channel. But yeah, guys, there you go. Looks like this pocket here is doing really good. Gosh, this fish is active. Look at that rod bent. There he is. Another channel. These channel cats are very hard fighters. Pound for pound, I think they're the hardest fighting catfish we have in these waters. Problem is, they just don't get very big down here. You would have to go up to like Canada Manitoba or something. Let me see if I can swing him in. There we go. If we're taking any fish home, these are the ones you want. Look at that. And like I said, drifting right along the docks here. That one just had a bite too. try this again if you're catching fish in a drift it's important to stay on that drift especially if you're catching a lot of fish numbers are good and I've only done two drifts I caught two channels the first drift and then one on the second drift in a matter of I don't know probably a hundred yards or so and I'm just gonna keep at it and I should be able to still get fish. Oh, 
that's a fish. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. That's a very good fish. I think this is a blue. Yep. And he's staying down like a blue. What do we have here? Jeez, he's going upstream. Oh, he just shook his head. Maybe he's the channel. Maybe I'm just being fooled here. I don't know. I mean, we do have a pretty good current. And we are in shallow water, so. Jeez. Man, he's taking me all the way around. Goodness gracious. It's a pretty good fish, guys. Pretty good fish. I mean, that rod's bent. Wow, now he's taking me over here. And this one's on the 10 pound line, so I can't really horse him in. But it's paid off, guys. Every drift, I've caught a fish. Got to keep them away from these docks here. It's a pretty good one. I mean, that's a solid, I don't know, seven, eight pound cat. That's a good fish, guys. Really good fish. Actually, that may be 10 pounds. Jeez. Prove me wrong. Once he gives up here, I'll be able to be able to net or put my grippers on him. Got him. Look at that fish, guys. That's a solid 10 pounder right there. Good fish. Chunky, very healthy. Right here, guys, just drifting along these docks. Glad it paid off. There he goes. Back to the depths. So we made three drifts and we caught a fish on every drift fishing along these docks and it definitely works and it's worth a try if you have something like this in your neck of the woods have some rocks or riprap and some slips that come out it's what you want and like i said we're only in nine to ten feet of water so not deep shallow definitely worth a try as always guys Give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you later.